Ben Sherratt scored a minute six into the overtime period. And fortunately, Mr. Sherratt plays for Detroit. Patrick Kane got his 800th career assist. And the Red Wings knock off the Kraken yesterday afternoon at Climate Pledge Arena. The final error was 4-3. to three. Jared McCann did score twice for the Kraken. And fortunately, it wasn't enough. Kane to break it. Fires. Why? What a pass by Kane. How did he get that on that tape? One-timer signing! Out of the room! Back on the ice and into the net. And Mo Sider gives the Red Wings a 1-0 lead. You know, that first initial cross-ice pass by Patrick Kane is what opens up this scene for the second pass to Mo Sider as you see that first pass there. And then you can see Seattle spread out. So when Sider comes up in that blue line, he's got so much time to pick the shot that he wants. He comes off the bench as well. Just perfect timing. Here's McCann out there. Ripped it across to Burakovsky. It's a couple of dangerous guys on the flanks. McCann. McCann is going! <laughs> Nikes, did he rip that one, Cassie Campbell? And had all sorts of time to the right of Lyon to just set this shot up. You can see it just comes up high, comes down, attacks the dots, puts it across. Again, you watch all the Red Wings shift over to one side, and look who's wide open. He has time to pull that across his body in just a perfect shot. Bam. Mm. You're right, Widow. you got to find some Buckeyes. Here's Petrie, shot, deflected, who score! Lucas Raymond is on the board to give the Red Wings a 2-1 lead. It's Raymond's 16th of the year. Job ...of getting traffic in front, and not just one layer, but two, and it goes right from the face-off, a battle one on the wall at the hash marks. And then the Detroit just goes to work. Good patience by Sherrod, who had jumped up into the play, and there you can see two Detroit Red Wings players just in front as Petrie just puts this to space and a nice little tip there by Comfort to get it through and Raymond there for the rebound. McCann has Beneers, there's Beneers over to McCann, he tried but broken up and it back playing D. Borgen with a shot, blocker save, Lion. Oleksiak in front, kick save, and the It's McCann again. It took him a couple of tries, but he beats Alex Lyon to tie the game at two. In Seattle, they create about three or four chances in this last minute sequence. And watch McCann in front, and he's just going to keep, make sure he gets his stick open. He gets a tip opportunity here, but then watch him get inside position. He uses his feet as well to kick it back to his stick. But the key was to get inside position on Mata. He can't tie up his stick. He's just boxing him out, which is what the defender wants to do to him. And just a smart play here by McCann, staying in front, staying around it. Here's done. Now Fisher has a two on one if they hurry. Sprong and Fisher. Fisher, Sprong, rips it, score! A twisted wrister from the former member of the Kraken. He had 21 goals last year with Seattle. It's his 15th of the year for the Red Wings. And Detroit has a 3-2 lead. The Kraken will get a power play unless they score here. Gord's been active. Fakes. Schwartz. Shoots. Yeah, just an unbelievable play along the boards, and then he comes across the blue line, takes the time and space given to him. And this is one thing we talked about in the first intermission, is Lyon will come out and challenge. You can see how far out he is, and look at the wide open net for Schwartz, as Lyon just can't get his footing. But here's the play on the boards, just a little give and go to himself wow. off the boards, creates all this time and space. He knows if he loses... Now we go... Lucas Raymond and Dylan Larkin. Larkin in the zone. Schrott scores! Ben Sherratt has won the game in overtime with his fourth of the year. And the Red Wings finish their road trip 2-2. Two
The Kraken continue their season-long six-game homestand. The Canucks coming to town Thursday at 7 o'clock on Route Sports Northwest. The Wenatchee Wild are at home tonight against Spokane. The Wenatchee Wild are in fifth place in the Western Division. Spokane is in eighth place, while broadcaster Austin Drade told me that the Chiefs are going to try and play the role of spoiler. They've battled a little bit here this year. They're having a better season than uh, a year ago, but uh, still battling to uh, to get into the playoff race here with time starting to wind down. But uh, the special teams are, uh, are certainly a solid group for uh, for them. They've got some good goaltending. Dawson Cowan's been uh, been good for them throughout the season. Played for the Winnipeg Ice for a bit, so uh, he's... Uh, They've got some of the pieces already in place, but I think the focus right now for Spokane is building for the next year or two and uh, and really making a push back into the playoff race and uh, and back into uh, back into contention in the Western Conference, but playing spoiler when they can, and uh, they're going to try to do that against us coming up tonight. Everett, Prince George, and Portland are one, two, and three, and those are pretty solid. According to Austin, the goal for the Wenatchee Wild, get that number four seed. Right now, the battle for us is for a home ice advantage that first round. That's a very attainable goal for us, obviously, and uh, that's uh, that's where the urgency lies for this group is let's, let's get that home ice first round. Let's take care of the business that we need to take care of and uh, hold off a couple of teams that are making a charge at us, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can do that first round. Again, they'll drop the puck tonight at 6 o'clock. It's multicultural night, by the way, at the Town Toyota Center. While the brackets are out, the seating committee did their job. How many local teams are going to be representing our area at the state basketball tournaments over the next couple of weeks? A lot. Way to go, ladies. Ellensburg, two-time defending 2A champions, number one seed in their bracket. Cashmere is the number nine seed in the 1A girls bracket to be well represented. Okanagan is the number three seed. Brewster is the number seven seed. Tanaskis is the number nine seed. Edwardville, Mansfield, Almira Cooley, Heartline, and Pateras girls will all play at state in the 1B tournament. Boys, not so much, but still pretty good. Lake Roosevelt, they only lost one game all year. They're the number four seed in the 2B bracket. Tanaskis is the number 14 seed in the 1B bracket. Moses Lake Christian and Soap Lake will represent North Central Washington in our area. And if you want to watch high school basketball this weekend, first round of state, there are five games at the Wenatchee High School Gymnasium. Starting Friday, it'll be Tenasket and Friday Harbor at 6 o'clock. That'll be followed by Okanagan and Adna at 8 o'clock. Then a triple header on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Lake Roosevelt boys will take on Tri-Cities Prep. And then in the evening session, it's Waterville, Mansfield, and Oaksdale at 4 o'clock. And Cashmere will pack the gym. They got Cedar Park Christian right after that. Have a great Tuesday. That's sports.